Hi guys, my name is Paula. Today I've been asked to talk for Harry, the rideshare guy, all about hop, skip, drive. So you want to hear more? What I've got to say about hop, skip, drive? As well as the $14 minimum fare. <laughs> so stick around guys and hear what I've got to say about hop, skip, drive. <laughs> I started being a care driver for Hop Skip Drive back in January after taking about a month to sign up. So it does take a while, especially for the fingerprints and the background check, because they really go deep into the background check and fingerprints. But yeah, after a month, you know, I was loving it. I mean, I'm still enjoying it. And you know, the, the little kids in the morning, especially when you've got them every day, the same children, you know, like on the ride series it's a lot of fun they look forward to seeing you and um, I always take some treats or whatever and <laughs> you know but it is different from Uber and Lyft definitely I mean you've committed to these rides that's the thing you know it's hard to back out of them that's the thing whereas Uber and Lyft you can just cancel the ride you don't need to take it but you're kind of really committed because it does affect your ratings your cancellation you know, if you call in and you cancel. So yeah, that's the, the good thing is you can see where you're going and how long it's going to take, how much you're estimated to make. And that's it, it's awesome. I'm having a great time with it. And it's, it's a nice drive. And I usually give the kids my iPad, you know, to watch and they love it. You know, or I keep some magazines or books. They're not in the car that long. There are some trips that are quite, you know, a, a good distance um, so yeah it all just depends where you're going how the traffic's flowing because remember I'm in LA So, you know, I've given you all these wonderful positive facts about Hot Skip Drive, you know, I mean, they give you your bright day glow t-shirt, which I'm not wearing, but it's too cold to wear a t-shirt. <laughs> and uh, they do give you a booster seat, one free booster seat. They give you one of the, the, the booster seats like that. And I keep that for in my trunk. Say I have to use it for a child with Uber or Lyft and they don't have one. So it's always handy that way, you know. But the downsides of it, okay, my biggest gripe is having to cancel and getting hold of support. And then you do get some bright teenagers. You do. I've had, I've had a couple so far but you could be you could request to when you get hold of support because when you call support it takes ages you know to cancel a ride a trip you know <laughs> so canceling oh my god I hate it I hate having to cancel I hate calling support to cancel because when it's one of the guys that always giving me hassle and eh, but yeah getting hold of support is a nightmare and I've told them that I told them they need to come up with something better are because passengers that can easily cancel on us however if we want to cancel we have to call support and we have to officially say I'm sorry I cannot do it or if you have a problem with one of the minors call up and say you don't want to be on that ride you know because he gave me a thumbs down anyway and was being very uh, disrespectful in my car and even as an uber driver I think with the experience behind me that obviously helps you know and so so that's the biggest downfall I would say and sometimes the scheduling as well you know because school kids start in the morning and then usually about 3 o'clock 2 30 you get busy again and remember it could be all over LA or all over San Francisco all over San Diego you know and I try and do back to back to back to back trips okay because I want to make most money so I try to DF to that destination in the afternoon now that helps too <laughs> if you've got a destination filter from uber so you can make money to get back over there you've got to watch your time you must arrive on time because your stats come in again with the, your timekeeping and you don't want to go against you because you know what being a care driver for hop skip drive 
life is awesome and you could take that you know as a driver going anywhere you know I think it's great uh, knowledge and you know working with children and disabled children foster children and um, seniors um, I always like to be helping people I really do <laughs> So far, I've been driving for Hop Skip Drive for, well, actually since January, the middle of January, I was accepted. You know, it took quite a long process to get on board, about a month, you know, especially with the fingerprinting and everything. I'm really enjoying it, especially the pre-arranged rides, you know, because that way in the morning, I can just set my schedule, know where I'm going, and that's where I will start Ubering. It's different from Uber and lift you know because you know where you're going you know the destination you know everything you know all the facts you know how much you're going to be making you know with the estimated fare hi there come on Erica there you go thank you um yeah I'm an Uber driver too I'm Uber girl Paul on YouTube I have a YouTube channel do you have a YouTube channel Yes, I do. What you do? I do a lot of Uber stuff, you know, and funny stuff. And now I've just started doing Hop Skip Drive to try this out to see how it is for female drivers. Because it is a good service, you know, because we have to deal with underage kids with Uber and we're not allowed to take them. You're iPod. not allowed to take them? Mm -mm. And drivers take them. That's wrong. Our insurance won't cover it, you know? Hop, skip, drive, it's different, you know, because we are taking minors. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole different concept. I didn't friends. know Uber Does can pick up minors. Yeah, no, they can. They can get into, they can get instantly deactivated for that. <laughs> So as I was telling you, the base fare is $14 and minimum fare $14 for the first 5 miles slash 30 minutes. Then after that, it is 70 cents a mile and 35 cents a minute. So it's actually really good money. It's, I compare it to kind of like a select fare. It depends on how far I'm going, be a little bit more. It's, it's really good money and especially if you're coming combining it with Uber, Lyft and you know any of these other rideshare platforms you know you, you could add this to it and also their cancellation policy on the passenger side <laughs> this is a good one and it's happened to me when they cancel and I always like it if they cancel either one to eight hours prior their trip you get 50% of the estimated amount that you see when you're actually selecting it to put it in your cart now if you drive there and it's a no-show our wait time is actually 15 minutes and then you can take off and it's a no-show but you would probably have to call support to because sometimes there's this in, instructions for that rider so you just want to be careful you want to check the instructions because instructions would tell you if you need a booster seat for that rider or walking them into school or walking them into a play group or to somebody's house you know to just make sure they're safe you know that's why it's a bit more money because we're doing a bit more service for a care driver <laughs> and then the same goes for seniors you walk them into the house to make sure they're okay or put their groceries bag bags in the car if there's a no show you get a hundred percent of that estimated amount and that's actually happened to me on like an $18 over $18 fare the money is good and I've had a few cancellations at the last minute you know I've had a no show show and yes it's awesome i also want to mention to you guys that um every usually it's every wednesday we get paid it's through stripe we just give them our bank account information every week it gets paid into our account same with referrals it's just once a month i think the first monday it gets paid into your account for any referrals if you refer new riders it's better
better to use my code Paula149, you know, for free rides for both seniors and for minors, you know, that way you can try it, give it a go and see how it is, if you like it or not. There is my code, very easy to share. I can just click share and that will take it to my um, phone contact. That is my way bill for my last passenger. It's my TCP license number with Hopskip Drive. They are not TNC, they are TCP. And basically that's it. Guys, thank you for watching and listening to all about Hop Skip Drive. Remember, every Tuesdays and Thursdays, the Writer Guy does put out new videos. So remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell down there too, so you can get notified of all the Writer Guy's new videos still to come. Thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. Bye.